I look crazy right now, but um, I promise you, you'll understand in a minute once I explain everything. So I'm gonna be giving you some tips and tricks and ways to save money when you're spray tanning um, at Palm Beach Tan and or any tanning salon because I know a lot of you guys go in there and they badger you. Well, not so much badger. There are some cool people that work there, but a lot of people will be like, oh, get this product, get this product. Oh, you need this additive. You need this, you need that, you need the scents. And it all adds up at the end of the day and you're already paying a pretty hefty fee for your, your membership. So these are ways that I've learned to cut corners and save money. Also, I wanted to give you an update on my Kiss Nails. These are heavenly. So I did get the small, or the short, the short length, my bad. And I will say that I had to cut them down severely because I love shorter nails. But so far, I'm on day three and they have been lasting and, and really withholding really good, I would say. Um, I did lose one yesterday and it was my thumbnail and I believe I lost it because I took an extremely hot shower and then also I was cooking rice and with the steam and condensation, I think it just kind of like somehow, I don't know, it fell off my thumb, but you know what? It's fine. Got a new one, clipped it down, sand it down, shape it, put it on my finger and we're good. Um, so I would definitely recommend these. I will say they are pricey, so if you find them on sale, snag every single one, but um, I've never seen the short black ones go on sale, but um, these are so far definitely a run for your money. So let's talk tanning. So I've been a member at Palm Beach Tan for, I want to say, since I was 18. Um, I really like it. I've always sprayed there. I never actually tan tan because my body refuses to gain any kind of color other than pale so i just continue to stay pale um i've also spent a lot of money on lotions and activators and scents and sticky feet and little finger clips i've spent money on it all and i've learned that there's hacks within that place that you can do and it will save you so much money there's also hacks that are pretty much like you would just think is a normal thing to do, but you know, sometimes you need that little push to think outside of the box. So the first one I wanna start off with is your hair. When you're doing your hair and when you're tanning, this is what I would recommend. When you put your hair up, put your hair up in a ponytail that's more facing, I gotta check to make sure you can see, that's more facing towards the back and downward versus top knot because you're gonna be able to pull it all back. And then on top of that, you'll get a slicker, more slick back ponytail and you'll have no wispies that are getting sprayed. I also recommend they, give, they supply you your hair nets. I took these today, but don't worry, I will be using them when I go back. I'm not gonna throw them away. So you put your first one on. When you're putting it on, make sure you will get a little bit of your hair, but if you don't, then you will have a very noticeable white line. So you have to get at least a little bit of your hair will be shown, but that's okay. Like this one can go down a little bit more, but just make sure your full forehead is showing. Don't pull it all the way down like this or like this, because see up here, you can kind of see you will have a line and that's not a good look. So I have one hair net on. This will not protect your hair fully. You need to put a second one on. So put a second one on. And then that will really protect your hair from getting saturated with the tanning, tanning spray. So we have that. That's a very kind of no duh type tip. But um, like I said, sometimes you just don't think of those things which is fine. My second tip, to save money, they will suggest getting these pink shells for your fingernails so that way it protects your fingernails from turning other colors. I tan today and as you can tell, I don't have any color. I'm not orange, I'm not getting any like crusty bronzy around my fingernails. What I do is I take a little bit of lotion. I'm not trying to get a lot because I don't need a lot. And they supply lotion there as well, so you don't need to buy any lotion. And I just dab it on my fingernail, all around my fingernail bed. And then it's like that. 
And then when I spray, as soon as I get out of the sprayer, oops, I actually didn't want to do that. Dang it. I'm going to have a little white mark there because this has alcohol in it. <laughs> also, do not use any alcohol scented products while your tan is still activating because that will take away from your tan. Alcohol, for sure, 100%. Um, you just take a paper towel or one of their baby wipes. They supply paper towels, baby wipes, lotion. They even have hair ties, but they're really crappy hair ties. Um, so I would recommend keeping a hair tie in your car or always remember I'm going tanning. I need to bring a hair tie. But um, that's what I do. And I do that on every single fingernail and I do that on every single toe. It is time consuming, but I promise you the results will be amazing. When I get out and I wipe away the lotion, I take a baby wipe. I also wipe my hand with a baby wipe because that also helps with, I think, discoloration and getting a really nice even tan and no crusty, like really bronzy fingernails. And you don't get like, I call them like Cheeto hands. You don't get Cheeto hands. And I do that also on my toes. I put every single toe, on every single toe, I put a lotion drop. And then I when I wipe away the lotion drop on my toes, I also wipe my feet. Sorry, I'm looking down at my feet. That's why I said that. <laughs> so next tip, I'm gonna be talking about sticky feet. Sticky feet are awesome, but they add up every time you go. I mean, if you're adding accelerators and everything like that, it all adds up. So I found a couple of tips and tricks where I can go and get pretty much homemade sticky feet without having to pay for sticky feet. These bad boys, they give you these. Um, you can have as many as you want, but don't be greedy, don't waste, obvious for obvious reasons. So if you don't have sandals or if it's really cold and you don't wanna bring sandals in, you can layer, double layer these up and just step on these while you're in the spray tan with your feet like this. I would recommend and I would recommend and I would recommend and I would recommend do not go in the spray tan machine without anything on the bottom of your feet. Do not because you will have disgusting looking feet on the bottom. And then also that's just, it's germy. You just don't wanna do it. Yes, after every cycle, after every time somebody tans, they go through a cleaning cycle and a rinse, but that's a rinse. It's not actually getting shut down and cleaned. And that doesn't happen, I believe, until the end of the night. I could be wrong, don't quote me, but don't step on something like that. That's just like going to a gym shower. You never step on the floor, floor barefoot. Just wouldn't recommend it. Um, another way that you can do it if you don't want to layer these up and just stand on it and just like when you walk you just turn you just kind of drag it with you if you don't want to do that I have another idea you get your chunk up and you put your sandal and any sandal can do these are slides I got from Kohl's a couple years back so they're really flimsy and like kind of um, the sole isn't really big, so I can get away with using these. I've tried Nike flip-flops and Nike slides, and it's not really the best. Um, you do this, and this is where you can on you only use one, which is, you know, a lot less wasteful. And you just once again you put your you stand on your foot like this. You're in two positions too, by the way, with Mystic. You're front, and then you turn to the back, and you just slide with your foot. So I'll show you a demonstration of what that will look like. So right here, you see my feet on top of the slides, and then you just go like this. That's simple. So, so far, we've helped with tan lines with your hair nets, double up. We've also helped with saving money with sticky feet. We've also helped with saving money with those little pink grips. And then another tip I would say is don't get an activator. I mean, I've gotten activators. I've never really seen a difference. If you have time and you can be patient, I would just say go earlier in the morning or try to go before your event um, or whatever reason why you're tanning because I feel like activators don't work. <laughs> I really don't. They're, I believe, 325 as well, as well as their scents. They have different scents, fragrances. They smell beautiful on your skin but it's very light. It's not as heavy as I personally would like. And I believe they're also 325. Um, color additives, which I always get, and I am guilty for this because I do like my tan a little bit darker. So you have light, medium, and dark. Those are the colors that you get and they are free. Obviously your tan selection that you pay for monthly. 
You can add additives, which are, I believe there is a bronze, there's a sun, there is an island triple, and then there's also a, I don't know, to be honest. I don't know all the ones because I've only used two and I always go back to the same ones every time. So you can get singles. They're all like in these little like squish packs. Um, but there's singles where it will make you kind of more bronzier or more whatever tone you're looking for. They have a skin sheet where you can put it up to your skin and you can see, oh, okay, I want this shade, I want this shade, or I want that shade. There's also triples. Triples are a little bit more. They're not 325, I believe. I pay, I walk out, and I don't know if it's because of tax or not, but mine is 541. So on top of my membership fee. And it is, um, I get Island Triple. It's a more purpley tone, bronzy. It's really pretty. Right now, I'm not as tan as I should be because like I said, I just got tan like an hour ago if. So I do have to wait a little bit for it to activate and it will activate fast. Um, like by, I wanna say 12 o'clock today, I'll be tan. So that's that's good for me. I also would say to go early in the morning, the earlier the better because then you're not looking to wait for a long time because when you're spray tanning, somebody can go in and take a little bit longer than normal if they're not knowing what they're doing or if they need help. And um, I'm actually guilty because I do take a while and that's why I like to go in the morning because there is literally nobody. I'm always the first person in there because I do... I do every fingernail with lotion. I make sure I put my my cover on my shoe. I have to do my feet. And then when I get out, I have to take off the lotion of every single finger. I have to take it off my toes. So I like to go in the morning so that way I'm not A, holding up the line, or B, waiting in line. What else? What else? What else? What else can I say? Do not wear tight clothing after you get tanned because it will take away from your tan don't wear jeans don't wear a bra i know that sounds so crazy um i don't i don't wear one i don't wear jeans i wear very baggy clothing um i'm wearing shorts right now i try to stay as loose fitted clothing as possible to let my tan breathe and to let my tan activate i will say i have worn biker shorts this summer and I was like, oh, I'll be fine. It's just biker shorts. Well, I had a huge line from where my biker short shorts started and where my biker shorts ended. There was a very noticeable gap. So um, that looked awkward. So I will say wear very loose fitting clothing. I've never had a problem with tan staining my clothing or anything. I will say it does get off on your clothing, but every time I wash my clothing, it's gotten off. I won't wear a crisp white shirt as soon as I get out, but if I, wear a white shirt later on tonight and I do sweat and it does get on my white shirt I've never had a problem with it staining a shirt never never ever 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 never dress shirts never t-shirts never pants jeans no problem whatsoever it's always come out of my clothing but other than that, I think that's really about it. I think I've given you guys a lot of tips and tricks on how to save money. Just remember when you go in there, they will try to bulldoze you. Some employees will try to bulldoze you and tell you, oh, you need this or you need that. That's because they work off a commission. And when you work off a commission, the bigger the sale, the bigger the paycheck. Remember that. I will say what I have personally experienced, and that's the activator, it's a dud. It really doesn't do much. Um, getting uh i'm sorry i'm losing my train of thought getting a scent it smells good and it's refreshing while you're getting the spray tan in your face while spraying but it just once again it's pretty much the same to me it's not really like uh it doesn't last as long as i would say it really smells like you just took a dryer sheet and kind of because i always get a clean scent one you just smells like you got a dryer sheet and you rubbed it up against your arm you can still smell you can still smell the spray tan and it's it's potent, you know? That smell, in my opinion, will always overshine any scent. Um, lotion on fingertips. Lotion on fingertips. I cannot stress this enough. I hate when I see a, a woman or a girl and she um, either has the really dark tan tanning in her, in her knuckles or in her fingertips, you can see it around her fingertips. Lotion, 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 y'all. They give it to you for free for a reason. Also, I completely spaced on this. Put lotion on the bottom of your feet too. Even though you're using, you're stepping 
on a shoe, it's still, trust me, just put the lotion on your feet. Be better safe than sorry. And then sandals, bring in a pair of sandals. If you forget your sandals, like I said, you can layer these little booties up and then step on them. Don't ever go barefoot in that machine. <laughs> Double hairnet, keep your hair up in a ponytail towards the back and then add double hairnet. And then lastly, um, I forgot this one. Uh, make sure you um, shower either the night of that you got spray tan. So like I sprayed today at eight o'clock, like 8.30. So I could spray or I could shower tonight at 10 or shower early tomorrow morning and I only say that because the longer you keep your tan on the longer it's going to keep activating and you will be like a cheeto you will be this color it's very ugly and I've noticed that every time I don't shower and I really like get it in there I know some people like that really dark bronzy look but I'm telling you it's not a look <laughs> you look like a cheeto <laughs> and then you make everybody get made fun of for spray tanning <laughs> But, um, yeah, and that, well, I mean, that honestly goes to your discretion. If that's what you like, that's what you like. I can't even come for you because that's what I used to like. I could show you a million pictures of what I used to look like and how dark I used to tan, and you'd be like, no way, no way. But um, I always like to shower the night, uh, the night that I tanned um, as long as it's been, like, a good 12 hours or in the early morning just so I get, like, that. I still keep that bronzy look and not that cheeto look <laughs> but yeah guys i really hope you like this video and i really hope it helps somebody because i really wish that i had these tips and tricks thrown at me when i first started spray tanning because like i said i went through so much money heartache bad tanning just the list goes on the list goes on i mean when you think of spray tanning you think of oh that's stressful and it is and um yeah, just these little tips have really saved me and I think makes my tanning experience really smoothly and flawless. So yeah, I just hope it helps. Bye y'all.